So here it is. This is a very easy way to run Unleashed on the Steam Deck. Um, this is coming very soon after the other one because honestly the Unleashed Recomp is just like the best. Um, it's the best things happened since God knows like what for this game. Um, it's a really easy way. Uh, it involves using the same method, but I'm going to show you a slightly different way on how to install and like get the game files running. Um, I did mention in my other video that you can use uh, your Xenia files, and I'm going to be going over how to do that. Um, so if you watch the older video, um, and you still have those files on hand, I'm going to show you how to import them into the Unleashed installer, and get it all set up and running. But yeah, this is the definitive way to play Sonic Unleashed on the Steam Deck. Hope you enjoy. Okay, so welcome to the Steam Deck. We're going to be installing Sonic Unleashed here. Um, again, you know, from the last video, we're going to be using the Unleashed Recomp. Absolutely awesome. There has actually been an update to it recently, which fixes a few issues, notably the one where um, in Jungle Joy Ride Act 1 Nighttime, it would, the game would just flat out crash. Um, and also fixing an issue where parts of the terrain could randomly just be on AMD GPUs. So that's going to be important for us because the Steam Deck is an AMD GPU. We're going to grab the flat pack here. And I actually transferred all the files over from the original video, the Xenia one. So we have all of the ISO and the DLC here. I'm just going to show you that that actually works well. So if we open and extract this little uh, zip file here. We get the Unleashed Recompiled Flat Pack, which I can just un install here from the Discover. Oop. And we're going to put in our password. Super cool, super secret password. There we go. And that will start to download, and you can see the progress. Oh, it's already done. <laughs> Never mind, I guess we won't see any progress. So we're going to launch this, and it should open up. Um, you should get the same sort of launcher that you normally do uh, on Windows. Okay, I did have to close out of it because it was really, really loud, so I just turned it down on OBS. So you want to click launch just in case it doesn't launch, and then you want to go to uh, so language, which is English, and then you just add the files and add the folders as normal. So it should open up a file picker. Uh, this is the GNOME file picker, by the way. So if it doesn't work, then maybe try looking into that. So you're gonna grab the ISO, it should work. Again, add files, and we're gonna go back to our downloads, grab the title update, hit next. And then we're going to add the PSD. Oh, that's desktop. Downloads. Now, I remember the DLC all being in separate folders, so I'm wondering if I can just select the folder. No, I can't. I'll have to do it manually, unfortunately. So we're going to go through and do this. And there we go, that's all done there. And it will just click next to install. And that should be good to go. Just a note on sort of like grabbing an ISO file. It's a legal gray area where I'm at in the UK. If you sort of own the game, you do have the right to physically back it up and have your own copy. Um, or if you go onto other sites to get it, uh, not naming any names, but yeah. Um, depending on where you live it might be illegal to do that so just be cautious on that sort of front but there we go 
that's all done. Once you've done that, you want to click next, and then you want to back out of the game when it loads. Yeah. And then that's all we need to do on desktop mode. Now, if you want to add it as a Steam game, you want to go add a game, add a non Steam game, and it should appear in your regular flat packs here. So if I scroll down a little bit, you can see Unleashed, Recompiled, you check that, add selected programs. And if you've got, um, I think it's like Steam Art Picker or something like that, or like Steam DB Picker or something like that, I don't remember what it is. But you can fetch um, sort of art for this game as well and make it look all pretty. I don't have that installed, so I'm just going to quickly restart Steam. By the way, just a quick one. If you're wondering where to find your save files for Unleash Recom, say if you download a, I don't know, 100% save file. If you go into .config, which by the way is a hidden folder, uh, you can find the hidden folders by running a terminal command or you can go here and then show hidden files. You go know, .config and then you scroll down to Unleashed Recomp, then save and then sys.data. Um, if I open up a new tab in my downloads, you can see that I have an sys data which I can extract here. Um, extract to yeah sure and then you just drag that in and here it is in your sort of uh, non steam games also I'm on my PC now editing this and yeah that's basically all you need to do if you want a recommendation of any settings to use you can copy my little defaults here uh, turn off transparency anti-aliasing. I know I have it on in one of the pictures and off in the other. It needs to be off because I was testing and it seems to give better performance off. But other than that, um, that's pretty much it. Jungle Joyride, which is on the screen right now, uh, is probably the most demanding stage in the game. And that gets around sort of 60 to maybe 40 dipping down on this section here. And that's the lowest it pretty much goes for the entire game. Also, if you're wondering how I just died right there, it's because I was going way too fast. There's a glitch you can do called QSS on those little, like, all made segments. It's pretty funny, and I'll do it again later on. But yeah, it's also worth noting that it is actually compatible with Hedge Mod Manager. Uh, if you use Unleash Mod Manager before, that's now deprecated. So you should always use Hedge Mod Manager for your mods for this game. They should be fully compatible, but be sure to check mod compatibility game by game but that is truly it um i think i have a tutorial on head mod manager on one of my definitive ways uh if not then would you guys want to see one unleash modded or maybe generations modded i mean they all use head mod manager uh, one of them will work but yeah uh thank you guys for watching this and I hope you enjoyed playing Sonic Unleashed the way it was meant to be played like 16 years ago. See you later.